Hey there guys, Brant, BB302, bringing you another deck profile, I call this the, um, Rank 5 Chronomaly Spam, uh, it's a very interesting deck that me and my friend came up with, but so far I find its consistency is pretty good, I'm still trying to work on a few things, but, um, just whatever you guys, after you see the entire deck, just let me know what you think would help me with this deck have it become a lot better, so, uh, here we go, um, Three Cyber Dragon, just a easy level five right there. Um, Crystal Bones, which if you all don't know, it's basically a Cyber Dragon, just a lot weaker but a lot better with effects. Basically, opponent controls a monster, special summon. When it's summoned from that effect, I can special summon another Chronomaly from either Grave or from Hand. So basically, you go special, special effect which I'll get into later especially some in the level 5 that the chronomalies have and you have already a level 5 which if you do OTK build is the um, the rank 5 that they have I can't remember his name right now but we'll see him later uh, golden jet basically when this guy summoned to the field you can increase the level of all chronomalies on the field by 1 so level 5 3 Moai, when you have a face-up Chronomaly, Special Summon in Defense, another rank 5 easy. Um, here's the Searcher, Crystal Bones, when you control a Chronomaly on the field, ditch the Grave to search deck for any Chronomaly, so you can go Moai, go Crystal Bones, anything, it's just ridiculous. Um, to a set, I find that he's really good with this deck because... Again, level 5, he's light, and I can normal summon him, and he goes down to 1,000, which he's never going to stay on the field that long. So, To go ship, he works really well with this deck because remove a light, special summon to the field. The entire deck is almost basically light, so he's basically a staple with this deck. To tour guy, kind of ridiculous now that she comes in a uh, freaking tin, but you know. Whatever works, and it looks like my Sangin's there too. He wants to join a party. Uh, one Honest. Of course, everything's like, why not? Uh, one Gaga Ga Magician, just to, in case, just a, you know, another thing that can make level 5. And Drag, who can also make level 5 when there's 5 on the, five in the grave, so why not? Now we go into the spells, we have 2 Duality, 2 MST. Two instant fusion, which you'll see why in my extra deck. One mini guts. One pot avarice, one dark hole, heavy, must reborn, and three enemy controllers, which I originally these were dark world shackles, which if everybody knows what that does, equip to a monster, which you're basically equipped to your opponent, it goes down to one hundred. Just straight up one hundred, it can't attack, and every time it's your standby phase it takes a you take five hundred damage. I'm tempted to try just for next week to put an enemy controller just because just like I was explaining with um skeleton since he basically is special to get out another monster he's left out on the field to do nothing whatever he's just left out there so he could do damage or whatever I'm tempted to try and see how he does with enemy controller because I can get out a big guy then I can steal their monster to do more damage it's it's iffy right now I'm I'm tempted to just leave to try this out next week, but let me know what you guys think. And finally, for the traps, it's all basically a stun. Two roll, de two roll decree, two trap stun. Um, some of you may be like, "Why not run solemn grade and all that?" Because basically, this deck, all the monsters revolve revolve around my opponent having a, mo a monster on the field. So if I start running the solemn brigade, solemn judgment, bottomless is uh, torrentials. I won't be able to get my plays off because I need to have my opponent to have monsters on the field. So, so I just go for the stun. My bigger monsters in my extra deck will be able to handle whatever they have. So here's the extra deck. One. Yeah, it's been a while since I've read this guy's name. Guilty of the Dark Knight. I. Dark or Dragon? Uh, I don't know. But you know, level five instant fusion. Why not? Musician King, playing expert on freaking Guitar Hero, why not? 
Um, my rank threes, acid golem, two Zen mains, crystal chrominaut, which he rarely ever touches the field, so it's whatever. Um, here's the five I was talking about. Number 33, Chronomaly Machu Mech. Basically what this guy does, with the play I was talking about before with um, Shackles. You equip Shackles to your opponent's monster. You get out to level 5 so you can make him. Activate effect. Detach a material. Your opponent takes whatever the difference between the original attack and the... the um, between the original attack and the, what the attack is now. So basically, let's say it's for whatever. Let's say he has BLS out on the field. Equip Dark World Shackles. He's down to 100. Activate effect. Your opponent takes 29 directly. So automatically he's down to 29. And he gains the 29 in attack points. So basically he would go from 24 to a 53. And then you just attack for game. So basically this has an OTK potential with shackles and mini guts, if y'all know what that does. But um, that's why I, I was explaining before. It's like I rarely nowadays ever get into him. I usually go with all my other rank 5s, which you'll see. But it's, um, let me know what you guys think. So two of him. Two Adrius. Two Tyrus. One Crimson Armor Ninja. I don't know. He's just level 5, can't be destroyed when activating effect, so it's whatever. But this guy is ridiculous. Um, Constellar Pleiades. Which, some of you guys are going to be like, oh, he's not, he's not officially and whatnot. Well, he's good for locals, so I think I will still use him. I don't care. I just can't wait for the actual set to come out so I can go to like regionals and whatnot and actually use him. For those of you who do not know, two, this guy needs uh, two light monsters during either player's turn, which is freaking ridiculous. Detach a material, bounce one card on the field. How broke is that? Like, I've gone into games where basically my opponent... Like I say, I had played Gyrgyz, which is a top, like a one of the top decks right now or whatever. Um, they sit down, gear the searcher guy every time you can flip him face down. Summon, activate effect, bounce him back to the field, attack. Your opponent's turn. He sets the monster end face effect, bounce back to hand. I basically get in two direct attacks for five thousand damage, like. This guy is going to be absolutely ridiculous when the actual set comes out. So, I, I can't wait for it to him to come out. Um, well, that's basically the deck profile. Uh, let me know what you guys think, especially about the enemy controllers and whatnot. Um, and leave me any suggestions for any deck profiles you want to see. I have um, plenty of friends out there that have plenty of crazy builds. Uh, so, let me know. Uh, this is Beeweed signing out.